Uh, hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5pm Pacific Time in the United States. That's 10am if you're in Australia or 1am if you're in the UK. I hope you guys and girls are well. My um, chatbot's been misbehaving. <laughs> What's going on here? Wow. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I hope you guys have been well over the last three weeks. I've had a good break so I'm nice and relaxed apart from... <laughs> I've had a hell of a morning, let me tell you. To begin with, I overslept. And now my um, Streamlabs chatbot has decided it's going to go all weird. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, remember guys, if you do miss the live streams, you can catch up at any time by clicking the videos tab on my Twitch channel. Uh, I upload all of my previous Twitch streams to <laughs> to um, <coughs> to Twitch. <laughs> uh, you can also catch them on my YouTube channel, forward slash builders 3 d Let's see if my chat client behaves. <laughs> I think I have to update my video driver. I haven't updated it for ages. I'm, I'm on a really old driver from a studio driver from um, about October, I think, last year. So <laughs> I think it might be time I updated my video driver. <laughs> Let me catch up with the chat here now. Hang on. Wow. Really, 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 really. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It's being really weird. It's not... Oh, wow. I'm going to restart my chat client. Uh, if I do that, then I'm, I won't be able to see all your messages. Um, <laughs> I can't... It won't let me scroll. Oh, okay, I'm just going to have to catch up from what I can see. Good morning to you, Hellforge. It's good to see you. And Sniper Girl. Sniper Girl, thank you for the resub. I do appreciate it, guys, when you sub to the channel. You are awesome, Sniper Girl. What, 28 months in a row. Wow. Thank you very much, Sniper Girl. Uh, Snuffy Girl says, I'm a bit sore, long day at work, but I'm doing well. Sorry, I can't read any messages above this because my chat client has frozen and I'm going to have to restart it, but I don't want to do that till I read the messages because I'll lose them. Uh, Hellboy says, how's the gas station coming along? I haven't been looking at Discord for a while. Actually, I've noticed that there's a lot of messages on Discord I've got to catch up with as well. Uh, Snuffy Girl says, coming along well, finally have master material figured out, working slowly, texturing everything now. Now, I do have my phone here as well, so... <laughs> worst comes to worst, I can um, I can read them from my phone. Jeez, that's really annoying. Have, have Twitch updated their uh, their Android app. It only shows a really tiny part of the chat, and the rest of it's oh, anyway. <laughs> One of those mornings. Uh, Helpwood says, it's been meaning to start shoveling a bunch of stuff into UE and get started with that. I just keep dragging my feet and finding other things that I have to polish before I start with the engine work. <laughs> oh, procrastination. Snobby Girl knows the feeling. Um, did the same quite a bit. She says, uh, if you're interested, I did release my material online. We'll have to follow a few video tutorials for some of the rain portions of it. Well, there you go. Check out Sniper Girl's um, material. I believe she's talking about those photogrammetry maybe assets she created, the cement and all that sort of jazz. Thank you, Hellforge. If you want to join the Phil Dust 3D Discord server, click that link, Hellforge has just popped into Twitch chat. Um, if you want to wishlist the game you're going to see me working on today, which is called The House in the Hollow, you can click that link, Hellforge has popped into Twitch chat. <laughs> And if you want to find out more about me and what I do, you can click the link to my website that Hellforge popped into Twitch chat. I'm doing really well. I'm nice and relaxed and uh, the break was good. Cabin in the woods, away from everybody, no technology. Just doing, did a big bit of hiking and a lot of sleeping. I, and actually, that was the other problem. The, the morning started really bad because I overslept. That was the first thing that happened this morning. I got up really late. I didn't want to. Uh, help which says it's 2 a.m. central in the EU. Oh, let me restart my chat client here now. I, I have a feeling well, what's happening is the um, the text window that shows all you guys chatting away is buggy, is bugging out. I, I think that's probably a driver problem. So <laughs> I'm going to have to update it. So let me go to my phone here while that restarts. 
and see what you guys have been saying. Sorry, it's at a weird angle here for you guys to watch me. Um, uh, Android Lust, I'm assuming you're in chat. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Sniper Girl says, but about the sub, thank you. She says the node layout, okay, oh no, the, the node layout she came up with for the material layering and rain, okay, in Unreal. Coffee, yes, I do need coffee, that is a very good, um, it's still doing it, you know. What is this? Okay, at the moment it's okay, so <laughs> we'll see how we go. I can read it at least. It, it made the text really huge, so the window where the text is, where you guys are chatting away, for some reason is bugging out and it makes the text massive and I, it, it sort of cuts half of it all and I can't scroll but at the moment it's, it's hanging in there we'll see how we go hopefully my audio is okay for you guys as well tell me if it's not because again I had problems with my stream machine when I came back from break and turned it on and checked everything on Saturday because because I knew I was streaming today on Monday <laughs> um, and yeah, my audio w wasn't working. I wasn't getting audio being sent out from auditions. I think I fixed that. It looks okay, <laughs> but you never know. I have, and it's gone all funny again. Wow. This is going to be a major problem if I can't read my chat. <laughs> Alpha says, I'm sure the chat bot is just trying to be considerate about your old eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alpha, is that's such a nice thing to say. Uh, help which says sound works good good to hear oh wow 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 uh, now it's back to normal so i don't know what's going on with this thing it's it's weird it's very 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 weird let me let me just see if i can't do something about this ah uh, yeah no the whole client is going really weird what has changed? Windows did an update. I bet you it's a Windows update that's, that's messed everything up, you know. I bet you. We all know what Windows updates are like. Let's see, it's, it's really getting, going weird. The chatbot is not happy. I'm just seeing if there's an update for it. It, should have, it usually tells me when I started if there is an update, so I don't think there is. But. But we'll see. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> and I have to pull my phone out and use it, I think, for the chat today. Everything else is fine. It's just um, Streamlabs chatbot. At least I can see the chat at the moment. I don't know if I can scroll. Uh, Hellboy says to be. F oh, man. Yeah, it's like you know how Windows um, scales stuff up with the scaling command. It's almost like it's doing that just randomly. Uh, Hellboy says to be fair, I'm at the point now that I don't need glasses. I need binoculars to read stuff. <laughs> Uh, Hellpoint says, I saw with Maya earlier, I could barely read the user interface, even when leaning in close enough for my nose to touch the monitor. That was what was happening to me. I don't need the glasses when I'm in every day. I only need it when I have to read my phone or I have to read a computer screen because I was finding <laughs> when I took them off, things were getting a little bit blue. Like I can still read the chat and I can still probably work, but it's a little blurry. But with the glasses on, it's crystal clear. So there might be time Time for a pair of glasses there at Hellforge. <laughs> Sniper Girl says, wow, that's all. Yeah, it is. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. It's got to be, I think it's uh, probably a driver problem. Because I haven't updated my studio driver, my NVIDIA studio driver from since October. So I'm still on 456.71, I think. And NVIDIA's drivers are up to like 471.22, I think, at the moment. Uh, I think that's probably what the issue is. So I think I'm probably going to have to um, update my driver, whether I want to or not. Because it's doing it again. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Oh wow, stop it! 
I don't know how disconcerting it is to see your text like 300 times bigger than it should be. And it cuts half of it all, so it makes it really hard for me to read. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I really think I may have to um, switch to my phone. And my phone, of course, is not close by, so what am I going to do here? Um, give me two seconds. I'm going to race over, grab uh, my extension cable and grab my phone. I'll only be two seconds. Okay, got the extension. Let me grab the phone. <sighs> Plug it in. Alrighty. Well, now I can see the chat. I'm just trying to work out if there's a way for me to um, make the chat section bigger in the app. That's really weird. Why, why did Twitch do that? Like in the app, this much of it is my stream info and this much of it is the chat. I can't, because I don't normally use the app, guys, so I can't really work out. I don't think there's a way to actually um, make it bigger. Anyway, let's persevere. Well, let me, let me, Android Lust says to Sniper Girl, it's more of a 50% slack. I guess you can uh, say behind the scenes work so I can produce better stuff. Uh, he also says to help watch. To be fair, the Maya user interface is a bit small. Help watch says, sorry, sorry I'm reading down like this, guys. <laughs> uh, help watch says, yeah, that's very true. Android lost. It's a reoccurring problem I have across the software I'm using and that I can't scale the user interface with. Uh, help watch says, I'm young, mind you, in ancient body. So you're a young, young person in an ancient body. Okay. Okay. Just really wish there was a way for me to um to enlarge the chat part of this. I, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll show you my phone on screen. You see how hard, most of it at the top here is my stream info, and that little bit down there is the chat. What's that all about? Come on, Twitch, what are you doing? Never used to be like this. Uh, help which says coffee with help will help with the chapter. That's true. Let's have a coffee. That's very true. Hang on, where am I going to put this? I'll put that there. Ah, coffee time. You see, now my chat client on screen is working. Oh, now it's not again. <laughs> oh, man. Now, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep both of them open because this. It works, it doesn't work, it works, it doesn't work. I'll have the phone as a backup. Um, um, just a fair warning, guys, too. Uh, I am expecting a delivery today, so at some stage you may hear the buzzer go off in the background. You guys know how loud it is. So I'm just giving you a bit of warning. Maybe you want to, I don't know, turn your volume down a little bit or something. I'll only be a couple of minutes while I race down and grab a package. Sniper Girl says, totally not working if Bill will actually do 3D <laughs> or will just chat. Well, I've had so many problems. I told you. A bit, bit of chat first. It's been three weeks. Come on, guys. I want to chat. Chat. Um, it started this morning when I woke up late. I had the problems with the, <laughs> the problems with the computer sound on the weekend. What else happened this morning? Something else happened this morning. Oh, the, the, there were things. There were just lots of things going wrong this morning. It was just... Oh, that's right. The stream. You know how we know, I, I, usually I get transcoding, and I, we do have it again, but I had to restart the stream. It must have been... I don't know if you guys were here when it first started, but I might, would have restarted the stream six or seven times 
before transcoding kicked in. It was a major, major pain. <laughs> what are you guys saying? What's going on here? Elford says, uh, What do you say? The longest I've seen a Just Chat when it was supposed to be 3D was like an hour. <laughs> That's probably true. I don't deny that. Uh, Android Lust says the Twitch app doesn't look like that for me. I'm like, really? Mine just updated. Let me um, <laughs> see if I update the app and because that chat is not working properly. <laughs> I might try restart, seeing if there's an update for Twitch. Uh, Helpboard says YouTube was thrilled. Uh, he says you spilled coffee, your slippers broke, <laughs> and Magpie stole your breakfast. I'm just going to see if there is a, an update for um, for the Twitch app. Watch Phil play with his phone. That's what we should rename the stream to. Yeah, I don't have a Twitch update in mine. I did update it a few weeks ago. I wonder why mine is like that and yours isn't Android Last. That's really weird. This isn't my main phone either, by the way. This is uh, another one. I don't... Um, yeah, even if I... Is that weird? <laughs> if I turn it into landscape mode, I can't see my chat at all. <laughs> what? What is going on? If I, yeah, if I turn it, you see, you see it this way, where am I? If I turn it into landscape mode, I can't see the Twitch chat at all. The Twitch chat's hidden way down here and I can't scroll it or anything. So it's just weird, something weird going on here. Yeah, and this chat, I'm going to restart this chat thing again. Helpboard says, still more engaging content than 99% of the Just Chat streams on Twitch. <laughs> uh, even before they removed the hot tub boob streamers from the category. Yeah, I've read about that actually. But they did remove the hot tub boob streamers. Oh man, nuts. <laughs> anyway, let's do some work, shall we? And I'll I'll do my best to, to chat to you guys even through all these problems that we're having. Oh wow, wow, wow. Android Lost says I meant I probably need to update mine. Oh <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Don't don't update it if I would if yours it does not showing like mine is. I'm just trying looking through to see if there's anything I'm missing up preference or something I should be turning on but I can't see one no I can't see one <laughs> anyway uh, Helpwood says some quality otter and duck content in the hot tub beach stream category nowadays <laughs> I don't watch those hot tub streams. Android Last says they removed the hot tub beach category. <laughs> you didn't know? Yeah, I don't I don't tend to watch those streams anyway, so. If I'm watching Twitch, I'm watching people play games or doing 3D. As should you all. Yeah, I really hope that updating my drivers fixes that problem, which I won't do now because uh, that will interrupt our workflow. We don't, we don't want to do that. Uh, I just need to get a tissue now. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay. <laughs> oh man, it's all happening this morning. Helpwood says to Android Lust, it's still there. They just added the category to remove those streams from the Just Chat section. Ah. Snubber Girl says, 
workflow. Doesn't that mean you got to do work first? Well, that's very true. <laughs> hey, come on. It's only what? 25 minutes into the stream. It's all right. <laughs> I see that Discord's been going off as well. So let me catch up with the Discord. At least that's working properly. Ah, uh, Sniper Girl's been posting some images. It's been a while since I've checked the Discord. So just let me, let me go through this to make sure I'm all caught up. She's posted. Oh, good! You're starting to texture up the um, the gangway section of the garage. It does. It looks really cool. I'll show that. Actually, you've done quite a bit of texturing by looking. No, that's unreal. Oh, okay. Bit of an update combined what I had with the water rain pump. Yeah, if you want to see what I'm reading, guys, jump on the Discord server. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, become a fildo and um, yes, a fildo, and jump on the Discord. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a cold or anything, I've just got a bit of a runny nose because it's cold here today in Melbourne and wet. Yeah, it's looking really cool. I'll show that, uh, like I said, just before I sign off with a day to day sniper girl. Uh, she's also posted some new tutorials in the tutorials and tips section on the Discord server. Um, one of the one with the rain, a tutorial she followed to create the rain. Cool. Again, we'll check those out soon. Oh wow, I'm really caught, not caught up at all with the, <laughs> with the uh, gallery section here. So she's posted quite a few images of the gangway, the wooden gangway. Wax Kink has also posted day one of working on a golem. Um, another girl's also posted a cargo container. So yeah, again, we'll check those out just before I sign off today on stream. How am I, I, swear, I need to set this up so I can read the chat because that chat client is really misbehaving. And I really don't like the way that the, because um, I don't use the Twitch app much at all. You guys know I don't generally monitor my own stream while I stream. <laughs> and I really hate the way three quarters of, of the Twitch app is useless and one quarter of it is like the, the actual chat. And I really wish there was a way for me to actually change that. But there does not appear to be. Oh, man. I think it's because I, I when I use the client here and if I log into Twitch and use the, the Twitch app, I set it to audio only mode because I don't need to see myself while I stream. It just gets confusing for me. <laughs> uh, so I, I turn that off so it, it's not distracting for me. I don't know. I wonder if turning that on would change anything. But anyway, anyway. Uh, Hellboard says I don't watch those either. Is there far better places for chat content? I pretty much only watch 3D music and game stuff on Twitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I actually I don't tend to watch music stuff, but I watch 3D and uh, gaming stuff on Twitch. Android Lust says, um, got it, Hellforge. To be honest, I don't. Hang on, stop this. Hey! Uh. Um. Android Lust says, to be honest, I don't know why they made it its own category, but it's no issue with me. Papa Girl says, yep, become one with your, with your dildo. Uh, I made that mistake once and she's never going to let me forget it. Elwood says um, to Android Lust, from what I understand, some big dollars add companies through a fit over the soft core stuff some hot tub streamers were pulling and threatened to stop paying Twitch, so they uh, reshuffled stuff to make the ad companies happy. Well, we all know that um, Amazon, who own Twitch, are all about the ad money. <laughs> Android Lust says, how did a new category make the company happy? It's still on Twitch. Uh, Helpboard says they can select which categories their ads showed in. Some back-end magic stuff. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's try and do some work, shall we? For a change. So, um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to start, we're going to probably start doing some work on the landscape. Uh, for the game. So last time we streamed, we were working on the uh, the gate here. We got that in, so that's all good. 
Uh, now I think what we're going to do is we're going to start working on some landscape stuff. So, um, how do I want to do this? Let me think. Where are my things? Where are all the things? It's been a while since I've worked on the landscape, so you have to forgive me if I can't remember where I put everything. Um, hero trees, maybe? Yeah, hero trees. Let's um, let's do this. Let's move to the front of the pathway. So I'm just going to zoom out around here. And we're going to go down the path. To the outside of the um, of the main gate. Alfred says no, only twenty minutes. Just chat. Curse you, YouTube. <laughs> you know that they're not going to be happy on YouTube. You guys know they're not. Alfred says, would you consider broccoli a hero tree? <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't, I hate broccoli. Sorry, sorry for anyone that likes broccoli, but man, cauliflower, broccoli, ew, yuck. And I don't eat them. So no, I would not consider that broccoli a hero tree. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go out here, um, outside of the gate. So the game is actually going to have a section before this. Like this is when you get to the actual manor house. The game won't start here though. The game is going to start somewhere else. Um, and because we stream levels in and out, I'm going to at some stage place steps here leading down. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that for right now. Right now we're just looking at, uh, fixed, at creating the landscape for, for the rest of this section of the level. So my thinking here was I wanted to have, I wanted, I wanted so sort of like overgrown, gnarly looking trees through here. Not not trees like this that have leaves on them, but just just gnarly leafless trees. So as the player comes up, so they'll sort of come up from here. Before they get to the main gate, there are like all these gnarly looking trees and stuff around. I think that I think that's a good way to go. So we'll we'll, we'll do that. I think. So let us pull in. I've created a couple of hero trees here, which I've created two. We're going to duplicate them around and um, and rotate them so that they're less noticeable as being copies of each other. So first things first, I guess, is let's bring one of them in. Halfwood says, would you consider broccoli? Oh, sorry, I read that. <laughs> Halfwood says, will there be an Easter egg outside the gate somewhere? Well, I'm not sure what sort of Easter egg we could include. What do you guys think? What sort of Easter egg could I put out there? What do you think could be cool? I could put an Easter egg out there if you want. Oh man. Let me get into the right level here. We want to be in the landscape level. Halford says, seems like uh, a good spot for it. And will also encourage exploration. Yes, that's very true. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm quite happy to put an Easter egg out here. I'm just not sure what sort of Easter egg I could put out here. So yeah, th these trees are just gnarly looking leafless trees. Just because I wanted to I wanted the entry part here once the player actually reaches this part of the landscape to look creepy, a little bit creepy. Not, not pretty like inside here, but a little bit more creepy out here. So we've got the sort of creepier section out here and then we go in through the gates and into the actual um, <coughs> uh, estate of the house, the grounds, the grounds of the house. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not doing a very good job. So I'm just going to sink this one down. Uh, now this tree was actually designed I can't remember the name of these trees, but when I created it in Speed Tree, I used reference images and they're actually trees that sit on cliff edges and sort of hang out over the cliff. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. 
So generally, the, the, they actually bend toward the edge of the cliff. So I've got it the wrong way around, but it doesn't need to be like that. We can make it any way we want. And I'm going to. <coughs> it's my world and I'll do what I want. <coughs> Bob Ross would say, I, I don't think he says I do what I want, but you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I think an Easter egg is a good idea as well. I just can't think of what sort of Easter egg. Hellforge says gang dev magic. That's right. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm <laughs> just going to get a drink. So now I've got a tickle in my throat. Good excuse for more coffee. And my viewers on YouTube, I am sorry I've stuffed around so much this morning. It's just been one of those mornings. <laughs> Well, wow. I should have known after having a break that this would happen on my first day back. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Uh, Android, <coughs> Android Lust says, uh, are there any issues with copyrights for Easter eggs? <laughs> Let's say if you created a realistic Super Mario mushroom for an Easter egg, will that be a problem? That's a good question. It, 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 that sort of thing is, is always really tricky. Uh, I would tend to avoid anything Nintendo because Nintendo are notorious for being real copyright hawks. They don't like people using their stuff in anything. Uh, if it was another company, I would, I would be a little bit less so but nintendo well, i wouldn't go anywhere near nintendo's copyright stuff but that's a good question i'm not sure about that i don't if it was a direct copy or well, it's a mushroom so how can yeah i don't know that'd, that'd be an iffy one to argue in court not sure about that uh so what sort of easter egg do you i mean when we say easter eggs you don't really want me to put an easter egg out there do you that's not what you guys are suggesting is it Surely. Surely not. Uh, we're going to scale this one up. Generally an Easter egg is just some hidden thing for the player to find. Uh, so yeah, so you see how the, the tree is actually designed at an angle so that the branches move out one way. Because that's the way these trees actually behave when they're on these cliff tops. So I'm just going to... And remember, we're going to have steps here. So the player is going to be entering entering the landscape from like this direction so i'm just going to place my camera here so i can sort of see what the player is going to see while we move these around and i sort of want these to frame the entryway a little bit so we're going to put another one on the other side i really really want to be able to enlarge this chat client there is no way for me to do it because your chats are rolling past and it makes it hard for me to read. So hang on, let me catch up here. Sniper Girl says to Android, that's probably not considering the, Mar uh, the Mario mushroom is identical to something else that exists. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you probably could get away with it, you know, but I'd still be really careful with anything Nintendo related. Uh, Android Lust says, well, yeah, Nintendo doesn't like that. But one game that was notorious for Easter eggs had Easter eggs for reference from their older game. Oh. Alford says, my thinking was that there's a spot in the back of the left of the gate along the rocks. So you mean over here somewhere? But look, we've got plenty of room to put an Easter egg in here. I'm just not sure what sort of Easter egg would be cool. I, I like finding Easter eggs in games as well. I always think that's really really funny and really cool, depending on what the Easter egg is. Like I know developers have put little pictures of themselves hidden in a uh, Doom, I think. There was a secret room in Doom, the original Doom game, which was an Easter egg from memory. And uh, Android Lot says, I doubt a realistic Mario mushroom would be a problem. You're probably right. Hellport says, maybe having a small thing hidden there. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, all up, I'm, I'm all on board for an Easter egg out here hidden somewhere. Sniper Girl says Mario Mushroom is based on the uh, Amartya Muscuria Mushroom. 
Uh, and I'm sure I did mispronounce that completely. Android Love says, a sniper girl I mean with eyes. Oh, with eyes too. <laughs> sniper girl says, put a giant, <laughs> put a giant dildo there. She said dildo and then she said dildo. Android Love says, what's your favorite game of all time? My favorite game of all time. Um, I don't know, I've played a lot of really good games. If we're talking older school games, probably my favourite game was uh, Half-Life or Half-Life 2. Um, if we're talking more modern games now, um, well you guys know I really like The Witcher 3. It's probably my, one of my favourite games of all time is The Witcher 3. Because I love this, I love story driven games and it's got a really interesting and good storyline. Um, What else though? Half like it. Half Life Alex is pretty cool, but you, you need VR for that. Um, but it's pretty cool as well. But of all time, eh. I mean, I did used to play Doom, and that was fun, but that was so long ago. I I'd, I'd probably say, I yeah, it, it's hard because games get better over the years. You know what I mean? The more the, the newer games are, uh, always get better. Hang on, you guys are scrolling down too quick for me. I'm going to try and read my main chat because trying to read on that app on the phone, the Twitch app on the phone, is just a nightmare. Um, I'm wondering if there's any way I can... Okay. Look, what I, what I can do with the, with, the, um, with the Steam chat client, which is misbehaving, is I can full screen it and if I full screen it then it seems to work but that doesn't mean that I won't be able to see my discord and I won't be able to see the request so if you post something in discord you want me to see or you put a request through like using your channel points tell me in the twitch chat because I won't be able to see it all right guys uh, it'll just be easier for me though because this way I can actually read my chat Okay, so here, what, 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 what's going on here? Um, oh, Sniper Girl's going AFK for a bit, going to take a bath. <laughs> Sore from work, okay. Have a good bath, uh, Sniper Girl. You need a soak? No problem. I know what that's like, it's nice to have a good soak. So what's your favourite game of all time, guys? You tell me. I, I would probably say of all time, if we're going to like include really old games, I really like the Half-Life games, Half-Life and Half-Life 2. I think they were really good. I mean, they were in, you know, in the golden days when Valve used to make games, not like today where they don't, they don't make games anymore. They just sell them. And did you hear about the Steam Deck? I know I should be doing work. Did you hear about the Valve Steam Deck that's been released or will be released? You can pre-order it, I think, at the moment. If, if you're in the United States, me in Australia, it's tough. Tough titties. We can't pre-order in Australia until next year. And I think the pre-orders now are actually sold out until the middle of next year in the US as well. But yeah, the, the new Steam Deck. What do you guys think of that as well? Android Lost says, uh, well, a Half-Life 2 Easter egg? Oh, that's... Yeah, but would, would Valve get really annoyed at us if we put that in? If we did something like that? <laughs> Another girl says, going AFK. Uh, Android Lost says, uh, Hellpoint says, the Witcher's sword leaning against the rock? Yeah, I really want to try and avoid using any uh, copies of any assets that are in another game. I, 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 I don't want to have copyright issues. I don't want the studio to have copyright issues. You never know. Copyrights, <laughs> these companies now are getting really, really strict with their copyrights, which is fair enough. They own the copyright to it. And it might be okay. I'm not saying I, we would necessarily get in trouble, but I probably want to avoid using images or designs from another game as an Easter egg. Like I had my head on a pike or something somewhere, you know, that sort of thing is cool, but yeah. <laughs> 
And you know, when you get to court and you say, "Why did you why did you invade this com this company's copyright?" Well, you know, I'm a big fan of the game. That's not gonna not gonna fly for them, I'm afraid. But otherwise, that sounds like a great idea, Sniper uh, Android Love. Sorry, it's not Hellforge. <laughs> the Witcher sword leaning against a rock. That does sound cool. You'll be back, Sniper Girl. No problem. Help says spin safe. <laughs> Euro! Yo to you as well, Euro. How are you? It's been ages since I've chatted to you guys, and that's why it's taken me so long to do any work, because all I've been doing is chatting. It's good to see you, Euro. Hope you're well. Um, Android Lost says, Euro, Phil was going to add an Easter egg to the game. What would you like to see? Yeah, we're trying to work out what Easter egg we could hide out here in the game. So like maybe over in this corner as Hellforge suggests, we could put a hidden Easter egg. You see this um, visual glitch here? That is actually because I haven't done a rebuild on the um, engine. I've noticed this sort of thing happening before. Basically, if you add a lot of assets to your level and you don't do a rebuild on the lighting, you know how you do a rebuild you know, with the build up here. Um, you can start getting visual glitches happening. They disappear once you do a rebuild though, generally. <laughs> well, they always have for me anyway. Touch wood. Uh, Euro says, I use Chatty for Twitch chat. It's always been reliable for me. Yeah, I used to use Chatty. I still have, I haven't reinstalled it on my new machine. Uh, I use Streamlabs chatbot and it's always been fine as well. The problem I believe is my drivers. I haven't updated my graphics drivers for a very long time. I generally avoid updating them if I don't need to. Um, and I think that's the issue. I think the drivers need to be updated. The Nvidia drivers. At least that's what I hope it is. Uh, so I'm, I really have to do that, I guess. But I used to use Chatty too. Chatty's a good chat client. It's only started doing this too since the Windows update that came out. I don't know when it was, a few weeks ago maybe? The cumulative update? Last week maybe? Yeah, I think it was last week. It's only started doing it since the update, which I did when I got back from my break uh, a few days ago. So. I have a feeling Microsoft, in their wisdom, have changed something with the update like they like to do. Uh, and again, just to remind you guys, I am expecting a delivery today, so I will just have to go down for a couple of minutes to sign for it. I won't be long, but you will hear the buzzer go off in the background, probably. I mean, it may not come till after I finish the stream, but just a warning, because that buzzer is very loud. Uh, Euro says a Fabergé egg, I don't know. Android Lost says one of my favourite games was Jet Force Gemini on Nintendo 64. I want a revival of that game. I don't think I ever, well I, I didn't own an, uh, a Nintendo 64 so I've never played Jet Force Gemini. Uh, Android Lost says Gordon Freeman's Crowbark, well that's true, really can't be copyrighted, no that can't. A crowbar cannot be copyrighted. That's true. But who would get it? Who would get that the crowbar is a, ha a reference to Half-Life? From someone that hasn't watched the stream here and doesn't know anything else about the game. <laughs> they find this crowbar. Look, well, that's fair enough. I mean, it <laughs> we could do that. Nothing saying the crowbar has to make sense. In fact, Easter eggs generally don't make sense. So yeah, the crowbar could be cool. But I, I just, I don't want people to think, I wonder if this well, if I don't make it interactable or pick upable, is that a word? Pick upable? Uh, then people won't mistake it for some asset that they have to use in the game for gameplay. I, I guess that's, that's something. So that's, that's something to keep in mind, Android Lust, the crowbar, Gordon Freeman's crowbar from Half Life. Uh, Yura says you could put a garden name, a <laughs> garden name with Gabe's head, Gavin's head. <laughs> Uh, your health board says, uh, completely random idea, the first cookbook you got when doing cooking school. Because you guys know I used to be a chef. 
have that lying in the kitchen. Uh, yep, the law is the is uh, that another person before the player brought it with them and forgot it if they left. That's a good idea, a cookbook in the kitchen. My first cookbook in the kitchen. That's that's a bit, that's yep, that's certainly worth considering. I should be writing these down. I remember. Cookbook in the kitchen, crowbar out here somewhere from Half Life. Uh, you research, you could put a garden. I uh, go, go, I read that. <laughs> no, that's a good idea. They're helpful as well. Android Lost says you could make a miniature version of the house out there. Yeah, that's a good idea too. A little, a little like um, doll's house version of the house. Yeah, that is, that's an interesting idea actually. I quite like that as well. I like that one. Android Lost says to help boards, it's a good idea. No, I think the cookbook idea, the miniature house idea, they're both really good ideas. I mean, I like the idea of the crowbar, but I just don't think people are going to get it. Whereas if people come across a miniature of the house, well, they obviously know what the house is because they're playing the game. Uh, and the cookbook, well, it's a cookbook, but to, to anyone that knows, we know what the Easter egg's about. Um... Hellboy says, I have those from time to time. Sniper Girl says, what are you doing? That was a quick bath. Says, um, how, <coughs> how about the Half-Life crowbar as an Easter egg? <coughs> Android Lost suggested that. Pardon me, guys. Um, Hellboy says, crowbars are a useful tool, so it makes sense to have it in the house. It does, but we haven't so far, at least. I mean, I'm not saying it couldn't be used as, uh, uh, as uh, a game, an interactive game thing in the game a crowbar, because they would come in handy. And there are other sections which we haven't done yet, which we could incorporate a crowbar in, I guess. Yeah, actually, a crowbar is not a bad idea, because I'm thinking of another part of the game that we haven't scripted out yet, where a crowbar could probably be used. But that, then it's just going to be a game asset. But a crowbar actually is probably a good idea to actually have in the game for gameplay. So you're right, Hellforge, it is a useful tool. Snubber Girl says, yeah, hard to copyright. That's true. Android Lust says, every time someone says gnome, I automatically think genome because of the book I, <laughs> book I read. Um, Snubber Girl says, painted identical to it and totally not in the bath now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right. So you're actually in the bath. You be careful. Don't drop any. Don't drop your phone or whatever in the bath. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> I feel weird now talking to you from the bath. <laughs> uh, Euro says to Android Lost. Funny story about my mother's uh, garden name. It got kidnapped. We got postcards from all over the world from it for about a decade. <laughs> Lucky garden name. I wish somebody could kidnap me and take me all around the world. Uh, they can't leave the country at the moment because of, you know, you know what? That thing that shall not be named. We're, we're locked in here in Australia. Unless you've got a very good reason for wanting to go. I mean, it needs to be a really good reason because they probably won't let you back into the country. Even if you're an Australian citizen, it's hard to get back. Um... Android Lost says, have a crowbar beside a Gordon, beside a Gordon's broken glasses. That's a good idea as well. Gordon Freeman's broken glasses and then the crowbar. The, gro the crowbar can be, uh, m probably, we can use it maybe as part of gameplay somewhere and, and the glasses we won't allow the player to pick up. You know, that's a good idea, I like that. I actually should be making a note of these. Hang on, i, I got to make a note of these because I think these are really good ideas. I'm just going to create a text document here off screen so you, I can um, type them in. So Gordon Freeman's glasses and crew bar, a miniature version of the house. What was the other thing? <laughs> So the Freeman's glasses and the crowbar, miniature version of on the cookbook. Cook book in kitchen. They're very good ideas. Uh, 
Um, Hellboard says, no, you won't, but that's all right. Dappy Girl says, yeah, he'll forget. No, I've just made a text copy of them all. I've written them in a little text file. So I'll remember. I've got a written written record to, to remind me. Um, Andrew Dell says, Euro, what? Someone trolled that hard? <laughs> and Euro says, yep, we got a postcard per month. That's dedication. Well, at least you know he was he was having a good time. And he wasn't smashed to a million pieces somewhere in some landfill. Still, pretty bad for them to steal your know. Android Lust says it's pretty funny. Uh, it's wholesome in a way, but funny. I agree. Euro says, still have no idea what took it, or who took it, sorry. Uh, Snappy Girl says, it's water resistant. Oh, it's fine. Could submerge it in the tub for hours and it would be fine. Well, that's cool. My phone's not. My phone gets wet and it dies. Um, yeah, Euro says resistant is not waterproof. You want to be yeah, careful. There are different levels of that IP resistance thingy for water. Snappy Girl says true, but I have tested it. Don't throw your phone in water, guys, even to test it. Come on. Nira says, uh, gnome for the win. We can put a gnome in there somewhere as well. Android Lust says, yeah, the two assets together could make people think. Oh, that's half life. Yeah, no, I agree. I think having the glasses, Gordon Freeman's glasses from Half Life, half -Life with the crowbar will make people think. And um, then we can use the, the crowbar and the player can actually pick it up and use it as part of an inventory item for a puzzle or something somewhere. So I think that's a good idea. Because there is actually a, a section of another level, landscape level, that I, I was thinking of that a crowbar could probably come in really handy. So, yeah, I think we should script that into the game. Snobby Girl says, yep, Hellforge says, could emphasize the point of by having a half-eaten candy heart next to the crowbar. But that might be a bit on the nose. Uh, uh, Euro says, hide a Steam Deck in the attic. Yeah, and again, I'm not sure about copyrights with the Steam Deck. I guess that's a, that, that sort of thing is probably okay, because it's, it's a hardware thing. We could put a Steam Deck in the attic somewhere. Yeah, well, look, I'm, I'm just going to, but then I'd have to model the Steam Deck. Then. <laughs> Do I really want to model the Steam Deck? But I'll, I'll put it to the text file. I'll add it to the text file. Uh, Steam Deck in Attic. Uh, yeah, the Steam Deck does look very cool. Again, I can't. We can't buy it here in Australia. It's only open to the US, um, the UK, I think, and maybe one other country, maybe Germany or Europe. Um, but in Australia, you can't pre-order it even not until next year, apparently, according to Steam to Bell. But it does look cool. Um, I have a gaming PC though, so I don't really need a Steam Deck. But the Steam Deck, I guess, is cool if you do want a game on the go, as they say. Uh, I think I might just... We might rotate this a little bit, because I like the roots. I want to see a little bit more of the roots. Maybe this way. Uh, so yeah, if you want a game on the go, the Steam Deck does look very interesting. Uh, I'm just a little bit wary of hardware when it comes to Valve because remember the the what were they calling it? Where they were, were going to be selling computers based on Linux with the Valve operating system? They had a name for their, that piece piece of hardware. It was years ago, which never really went anywhere. The Steam Machine, I think they called it. Um, but it does look very, very cool. Hang on, my, with my check client, yeah, my check client.
Wow. Now, now maximizing and minimizing it does nothing. Ah, wow. I wonder why it's only this program though and not um, any of the others. Like Discord is fine, it's only Steam Labs chatbot that's doing this weirdness. Uh, I'm gonna have to use the phone, go back to the phone again. Hang on, let me catch up here. Sniper Girl says, uh, was when I first got it and it's insured for damage. Android Lost says, taking a shower bath with a phone isn't that bad. <clears throat> I know someone who smokes cigar, cigs, hang on, smokes cigs while taking a shower. Seriously, somebody smokes cigarettes while having a shower. That's just weird. I'm sorry, but that's just weird. Um, Helpwood says shower beers are apparently a thing. I've never done that either. Never done shower beers or just shower smoking. Um, the Snappy Girl says, how does smoking and showering work? That's what I'd like to know too. <laughs> uh, Helpwood says, Germany or Europe? Phil, my dude, have you gone full American? I know, I'm sorry. I know Germany is not Europe. <laughs> It's in Europe though. But I have a feeling yeah, there's like three sections of the world where they where you can pre-order it and Australia is not one of them, so. Uh, Android Lost says just Google Steam Deck. I've never heard of it before. It was only only announced like maybe a week ago, Android Lost, so not not very long ago Steam announced Steam Deck. And it does look cool, like I said, if you want to play your, your Steam catalogue, your PC games on it's basically a handheld PC really. That's pretty much what it is, uh, based on an AMD CPU and APU, I think they call it, the, the, the GPU built into the CPU by AMD, RDNA 2 C, a GPU. Um, Euro says, I'm tempted to get one, get the cheap one and slap in a one terabyte M.2 and NVMe in it. Yes, they all have the same ports inside. Yeah, I read that. So yeah, there are three versions, a 64 gigabyte version, which uses MMCC, you know, the bad type of memory anyway, storage. Uh, and then there's a 256 version and a 512 version, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, uh, at different prices. But the cheaper one apparently, as Euro just said, does have an NVMe slot in it. So you could open it up theoretically and put in an NVMe drive for much cheaper then Valve are charging for the next version up, which is the, it's 128 or 256 gigabyte. I think it's 256 gigabyte. Uh, so that's an option, but they're saying they're not sure how hard it's going to be to actually open the thing up. It could be, could be challenging. And uh, the NVMe drive that goes inside of the Steam Deck is not, not the normal NVMe drive size that we normally put in our PCs, which is 2284 in factor, I believe. This one is like 2230 or something. It's a, a, stra a different length, basically. So, and they're apparently a little bit more expensive to buy. I mean, they're, they're no better than anything else, but it's a different form factor. So the price of them apparently is a little bit more expensive than a normal NVMe 2280 version. Snappy Girl says, only question with the Steam Deck, uh, will it play pirated games? We don't, we don't talk about piracy. Uh, have a lot of games that are DRM that require online to play. Would have to get pirated versions of those to play it uh, anywhere. That's a good question. Yeah, that is a good question. If they're coming, if, it, if it's Steam DRM, then you'd probably be okay because you, you authenticate through the Steam app. And you download their games anyway, so it's not like it's got to go to a server to play it. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Again, I I have a PC. I don't. I'm not really interested in the Steam Deck. 
I mean, it would, would be cool to play on the go if I'm on the train or on the bus or, you know, not at home and I wanted to play a game, but I don't tend to want to do that very much anymore anyway. I don't have a lot of time just to wander around a, you know, a park somewhere and want to play a computer game. So if you're watching me on YouTube, I'll do my best to edit, edit it all out. <laughs> now let me catch up with the chat. Android Dust says, I doubt it will play pirated games. I doubt so too. I doubt it will as well. Abigail says, yes and no. If a game's, um, if, 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 if it's a game that I own, it's not bad. Well, that's true. It's not as bad, but developers would not want you pirating their games. Let me tell you. I can tell you that now. Uh, Euro, for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, Euro says, actually, speaking of, you know that De, De Novo, De Novo copyright protection? It was in, you know, the, the game Resident Evil Village, which I actually watched a Let's Play of and did look really cool. They did a really nice job with the texturing and stuff in that game. Apparently it uses De Novo, De Novo, however it's pronounced, and it slows the game right down. So, yeah, because I, I remember reading an article where the guy who owned the game downloaded, because the, the copyright protection has been broken in Resident Evil Village, so he played the game as normal with the protection in it and then he played the game using this crack file and the difference in frame rate was substantial. So De, De Novo, De Novo really does affect game performance quite a lot. But I'm not recommending you guys download any cracks or patches or pirated stuff because it's against the law to begin with. You never know what you're going to be installing really. You've got to trust whoever made it didn't do anything other nasty thing, I didn't add any other nasty things to it that are going to infect your computer. Uh, yeah, and it's against the law, so don't do it. But I can see why people are annoyed with these copyright protection stuff. Uh, Yuri says, have a look on Proton Database. There's a big list of games that work with Proton. Uh, they're also working with the anti-cheat vendors to make them work on Linux. What a surprise. Um, Euro says 64 gigabyte micro SD, 250 gigabyte NVMe SSD and 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. So they're the three different um, types of Steam, Steam Deck that you can buy. Coffee Hellforge says yes, I need the coffee, I really do. <laughs> Um, Euro says MSD is EMMC. Okay. I knew it was, there was an MMC in there somewhere, <laughs> but that's the bad one. You don't want that. You don't want to be running your games from an EMMC or what's the other one? An MSD. They're, they're not, they're not good. You want an NVMe SSD. Uh, Euro says, <coughs> Euro says EMMC isn't actually that slow. It's about the same speed as the SATA SSD. Well, okay, fine, but NVMe is much faster than a SATA SSD. Like SATA is about 600 megabytes a second, I believe. The transfer rate is about 600 megabytes a second. Whereas NVMe, it's like I know with my NVMe drives, it's 3.5 gigabytes a second. So it's a big difference there. Um, but if all you're doing is playing games on it and all you can afford is a cheaper one, well then I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it. For sure buy it particularly as you can if you can open it up there is a slot um a slot in there where you can actually buy an nvme ssd and put it in at a later date and it is much cheaper than buying the two more expensive versions uh, sniper girl says a couple of them are drm through the publisher oh okay things like i know you guys know i play occasionally i play gta 5 that's the same. You buy, you can buy it on Steam, but when you launch it, you've also got to launch the Rockstar launcher. So, yeah, I don't like it when games companies do that sort of thing. But uh, again, I understand why they're doing it. <laughs> Android Lust says Nightmare Bell. Yes, I'm sorry. It even caught me by surprise. 
because normally I get a notification on my phone when it's out for delivery from Amazon uh, and they didn't do it this time, they just delivered it. I buy way too much stuff from Amazon, I mean, Jeff Bezos, I give him way too much money. Uh, Euro says SpaceX freeze, uh, fires a siren like that before a test fire in the rocket. Yeah, look, I know it's really loud. I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> now I've lost my space. Oh, here we go. Hellforge says uh, all the buttons were pushed in making... Hang on. All of the buttons were pushed in the making of the quick steam break of this quick stream break. Yeah, I know. I noticed that too. When I went to say, I'll be back, I hit all the wrong buttons. Sorry, <laughs> that was confusing to you guys. I got there in the end. I hit the right button in the end. Because it's going to come on. It's been a few weeks and I've forgotten which button to do what. <laughs> they're, they're all marked, but that's my excuse. <laughs> uh, Yuri says more messages below. Oh, sorry, is it Yuri says... Uh, LOL. Sniper Girl says, Siren like that, expect bombs to be flying somewhere. You know, I've noticed, I, I edit my videos after the stream and I will do that today. But when I'm sitting here, it's not that loud. It's up, But when I listen to my stream back when I'm editing it, video editing it, it is really loud. It, it's twice as loud for you guys as it is for me. And it's just because my microphone, <laughs> my Yeti mic picks everything up really, really well. So my apologies. I did warn you guys though. I did tell you. I, I try and avoid getting deliveries on days when I stream because I know, I know how annoying it can be having that sort of thing going off in the background. But I needed the stuff delivered so I couldn't um, couldn't wait. Welcome back, Hellford says. Copy, Hellford says. Yes. Oh, welcome back, Sniper Girl says. Alford says it's been a bunch of um, it's been in a bunch of games and from what I understand it tanks performance. Yeah, this de novo, de novo, however you pronounce it, is supposed to be really bad for performance. It's been shown in in Hellforge Village just how bad it is. Hellforge Village, <laughs> uh, Resident Evil Village. <laughs> Euro says yeah, it was uh, in the new Doom and other Bethesda games for the first six months. That's what they tend to do. They tend to put it in for six months or during the initial release of the game so that they you know so the game isn't pirated immediately basically so they can get a bit of a return and then the good ones remove it after that initial launch period because basically what, what the games companies are doing is <coughs> they're releasing their game with the protection in it the protection it, particularly if it's this de novo de novo can be quite difficult to break not impossible because it gets broken, but it takes the hackers a long time to break it. So the games company has a, a few months of sales where they can guarantee sales before the game will get hacked. Um, so basically anyone that can't wait buys the game immediately so they get sales. And then, like I said, the good ones then will remove it after a few months, remove the protection once they recoup their investment from the initial people that buy it. Sniper Girl says, uh, recently a major company killed off a five-year-old game. If you bought DLC, they killed the server that would allow you to play it. It's sometimes the only way to preserve a game. Well, that's true too. Uh, also in the US, having a digital copy of a game or even a physical one is 100% legal, assuming you own a legit copy. Ah, Android Lust says, what game, Sniper Girl? Um, Euro says, I have an ARM system that runs Ubuntu. Ubuntu, sorry. Or have an eMMC. I dual boot, dual boot with Corelec on a micro SD card because it's plugged into my TV in the living room. Okay. I have a, a Nook, an Intel Nook that I plug into my TV. But it runs Windows 10. And I have a Raspberry Pi, as you guys know as well. Sniper Girl says I'd have to hook, I'd have to look it up. Uh, yeah, they did a YouTube video on it. Alford says um, I may be a bit on the heavy side, but not enough to be called a village. <laughs> You're not on the heavy side at all, Hellforge. 
Uh, Yuri says, sorry, but it was a slip of the tongue. Yuri says, uh, Danubo, they removed it because after three to six months it gets cracked and it's pointless after that. Even Danubo admit it. Well, see, it's only that three to six months when they make their money, so the games companies are happy to remove it after that because, like you said, it gets cracked after that period of time, so it's pretty useless then anyway, and it slows the game down. Regardless of what they say, it slows games down. Sniper Girl says, yeah, uh, Danubo has been broke the same day a game had came out. It's worthless. That's true, not always. So some games it's taken, I think, hackers longer to break than none. Than a day. Yeah, like this chat client is, oh. You know, I'm going to have to update my, my graphics driver. Just simply for Streamlabs chatbot. Unless I use Chatty again. Um, but the chatbot has all, all these other things built into it that I use. Um, the Streamlabs one. So it's the only program that's giving me grief. And I'm really annoyed about it. But I don't like updating my drivers if I don't have to. Because things are inevitably break when you update a graphics driver at some stage. But I think I'll have to go to the, um, the new version of the Studio driver, which is 47111, I think, from memory. Anyway, let's... <laughs> Let me see if I can get some work done before I end the stream today. So yeah, we're going for we're going for these trees. So we've got this one. Let's bring in this one as well, which is a slightly different version of it. And let's put this one. These things are actually meant to like sit up on a rock. That's why they have all these long root system. Let's rotate this one around. And again, the play is going to be coming up from here. So we're going to, we want to frame it from this angle. It'll be the first thing that the player sees as they enter this section of the landscape. Okay, let's duplicate this one. And we're going to scale it up. Quite big. And we're going to move it up here. And now I do want to rotate it so it's less noticeable as being a direct copy. And maybe move it over a little bit. And move it down. juggle my phone while I do this. Uh, Helpwood says rock trees are alright but I prefer metal trees myself. <laughs> it it's, it's that isn't it? Um, Sniper Girl says back feels so much better no longer screaming in pain when I try to get up. Well, that's no good Sniper Girl. How has work been? I know you don't like it but like where you're working, but we, we all got to do what we got to do, though, I guess. And uh, yeah, the progress I see you've made on your um on the level you're working on there, your scene is looking really cool. So, and again, remind me, guys, if I forget to show that work off before I finish the stream for the day. Okay, I think I think I want a tree up on this rock up here. So I think that would look cool. Because I like 
to it. And I, I want to see the roots hanging out over the edges like that because I think that looks a bit creepy as well. They're seeing all these overhanging roots. It's okay, I want them sort of to angle in toward the gate. Um, I'm not going to do anything here just for the moment. Let's, let's move to the other side. So again, I want these sort of trees over here as well to frame the entryway. Um, Sniper Girl says, I'm starting to work extra hours, trying to go for 10 hour days. This was a long day, Sniper Girl, 10 hour days. I used to work in retail and 12 hour days used to kill me. And 10 hours is a long day as well. Sniper Girl says, there will be a lot of money saved toward the drone. That's true, but 10 hours is a long day. You make sure you're looking after yourself, eating properly and all that sort of jazz, Sniper Girl. Particularly if you're going to be working those sort of hours. So, uh, yeah, let's... Um, let's copy... Let's take a copy of... This one. And we'll bring it over. We'll rotate it around first so it's facing maybe like that. And let's move it over here. And again, I'm, I'm moving to this side so I can see what it looks like framed from where the player will enter. Um, I don't want it overhanging like that. Maybe we'll move it that way and we might scale it up so it's just a bit of a different size from the other. And move it in a little bit. And let's try rotating it to see if we can get a more interesting angle. Now we do have a couple of spots here like where the, it's actually intersecting the rock like that. But the player will not be able to get up there to see it anyway, so it should be alright. Okay, now let's grab a copy of... Let's try this one over here. And we'll move that up here. Rotate it around. We'll just play with the rotation to see if we can get a silhouette that looks more interesting. Too, I 
I like the way the root sort of flows over the rock there. Okay. And now we're going to do a copy of this one again. And then we're going to scale it up. Let's move it in a little bit. I should rotate it around. Check the chat. Uh, Helpwood says doing that kind of work. Sniper Girl says uh, I am. I don't. Don't worry, looking at doing it this week, normal hours next week, and then do another 10 hour day week. So you're sort of like going to do one on one all weekly, like one week yes, one week no. So that, that's a better way. Sniper Girl says, nice, uh, Euro says, nice God raised. Thanks, Euro. Um, Sniper Girl says, I work in a factory. Helpwood says, it's one thing to sit at a desk and do a data entry for 10 hours. Yeah, that's true. Standing up all day. Like I said, I used to work in retail, so I used to have to stand pretty much for the whole shift. And it's not fun. Uh, Android Lust says, weren't you originally working 12 hour days? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure she was, but not every day, I don't think. Uh, Euro says, I used to dig holes in the ground for 12 to 14 hours. 12 to 14 hours a day? Digging holes? Jeez! Uh, even in an excavator, at least, you're moving about compared to the same time at a desk job. Still, even in an excavator, that's 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 a long day. Um, as Sniper Girl says to Android last year, but I had my schedule change. Uh, the only way I was willing to go back to the same place. I have to work uh, a minimum of eight hours a day, but I'm allowed to work more if I want. Yuri says save, oh, sorry, help which says save and copy. Good uh, suggestions. Copy first, then actually no, save first, then the copy. Because I haven't done a save, have I? So thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Let me just get into a position here. Because basically, you know when you save in Unreal, it saves a um, thumbnail of where you are. So I just want to make sure I'm in looking at this so that when I see it to reload it, I know where I am. Let's do a save all and then Phil will have a copy. Android Lust says, in my opinion, if the job isn't mind numbing, it'd be I'd be okay with it. Like retail that isn't fun and you don't really make much money from it. Well, that's true. You don't. It isn't fun and you don't make much money from it. Uh, but it's just standing on your feet for that long, for 12 hours, because, yeah, late night shopping, which was two days of the five days you usually, usually work in retail in, in Australia. It's a bit different nowadays. because I haven't worked in retail for many years, but... Um, We've got pretty much 24 hour trading nowadays. But yeah, 12 hours standing up on your feet was not fun. Yuri says it was good money installing power cables for wind turbines. Paid as much in tax a week as I used to earn in a flat week doing that. You don't talk to me about tax. I've just sent my taxation stuff off to the accountant. I'm, I'm, I'm dreading how much tax I may have to pay. 
but I keep it all aside, which is, you know, I suggest to you guys, if you're running a business and you think you may have to pay tax, make sure you keep that money aside in your account so that when you do your taxes and uh, the, the tax, tax department come after you or the IRS or whatever they call them in the US, um, that you've got the money to pay. Because that's, uh, uh, you know, I suggest you guys know I do. I, uh, I work full time for an Archbiz studio. I, I work pretty much full time for a games company now, for a game studio. Plus, I do my own um, contract work. And I said, I, you know, I've said to you guys, it's a good way to make extra money. If, you, if you're good at doing 3D, then contract out, do, do, do things for clients because you can make some, some good money that way. And, you know, if you don't want to work for somebody else, you can work for yourself sort of thing. You don't have to rely on, on another a business to pay you. But having said that, you must be really careful when it comes to taxation because because basically you get a lump sum payment when you do a contract for some for, for someone. So you get all these thousands of dollars, say, up front. And the temptation then is to spend it. But you can't do that. You've got to make sure you take out the taxation part of it and put it aside in, in you know, in a business account is what I do, a business bank account. So that you're not tempted to spend it because that's where people get into it. And I, this has happened to friends of mine who, who are contract um, animators and stuff like that. They get, they get this big lump sum payment from a client. They go on a spending spree and spend it all. Tax, tax time comes around, which is now. Um, and they, they're, they're, they're slugged with a big taxation bill from the tax department. And they, the tax department don't care for excuses. They just want their money. So make sure you, you, if you're doing contract work, that you put that tax part aside and you don't spend it. Uh, Sniper Girl says to Android Lust, uh, my job is mind numbing. Sniper Girl says, when things work correctly, when things break, it sucks. Euro says, uh, long shifts are pretty easy if you have a good bunch of people around you. The time passes quick. That's true. And it does says, yeah, the snappy girl, you just throw some stuff away, right? Um, Andrew Lust says, we'll, well, call them Uncle Sam. Uh, snappy girl says to Andrew Lust, yeah, and throw bottles without labels on the grinder. Uh, when things work, you don't really see any at all. When there's a jam in the line, there's an overflow protection that causes all the bottles to be made without labels. Um, Andrew Lust says to Sniper Girl, so with things are going fine, you're just sitting there. Standing there, she says. Yeah, standing up. Yuck. All day. Yuck. Okay, so what do we want to do now? Um, we will. Well, we're going to have an Easter egg. Did you? Did you? Hang on, what's going on here? Oh, didn't I have a tree here? I know I had a tree there. What, what is going on? My tree has disappeared. Why? <laughs> I'm sure. Did I not have a tree here? I'm sure I had a tree here. There we go. It's just a visual glitch in the editor. <laughs> I know I had a tree here. I really have to do a rebuild on the lighting because it's starting to freak out the engine a bit. Okay, so. I'm just trying to decide where, where I want to put what. I think we need more of these dead trees through here. 
So I'm going to again, I'm going to duplicate this one. I want to put one down here. I did not want to do that. There we go. And then I also want to put one, I think, back here. So again, I'm going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to move it. Over here. And again, I just want to make sure that the roots are not really going into the rock, but they're sitting, the tree sitting like above the rock. And I think we want one more in here, so I'm going to duplicate this one. Don't quite like this grouping over here. What do I like about it? I think. I think this this tree here. There's something about this tree I don't like. I might just try rotating it. scale it so it's much larger than the others. Let's see what that looks like. That's better. It, it was just looking too, what's the word, blobby? Like they were all the same sort of height in one section so I wanted to add a bit more variation. This makes it look a bit more interesting. Uh, like this one here has a bit of variation in the height. Um, we might just move it up a little bit now that we've made it bigger. So it's actually on top of the rocks and not in the rocks. Let's go back to this side so we can check the look of it. And I think that's sort of the look I was going for. I wanted this um, gnarly looking entryway from the steps. 
but I think uh, this could do with one more of these gnarly trees maybe over here. So again let's duplicate this one. And let's move it back here. Maybe rotate it. Maybe not. And let me make sure I'm not missing anything in chat. In the chat. This is a problem. I've got to fix that problem with the chat box. What have you guys been talking about? <laughs> Uh, thank you. There's a Discord link and the game link if you want to wish us the game on Steam. Thank you, Hellforge. Yuri says, I do that take tax off first, then the money for the bills, power, insurance, and whatever is left. Uh, I leave it in situ for a bit, a month or two, just in case of a rainy day. Well, that sounds like a very wise way to go, uh, Hellwood. Uh, Yuri, sorry. <laughs> now, Andrew Doss says, that's boring about the job, sitting there and watching bosses, standing there and watching bottles. Sniper Girl says, uh, game was might and magic. 10 from Ubisoft. They continued selling it on Steam up until the day that the all the servers were taken down. Well, that's just sucks. That just sucks. Ubisoft, bad. Bad Ubisoft. Continued selling it and then right up until they take the, 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 um, the thing offline. Came out in 2014, so a bit older than that. Then I said, still, the fact that they continued to sell it up to the day the game was taken down is bad. It is. Halford says, how will you deal with the ground tiling? Not really sure how to get around that for texturing. Are you talking to me, Halford? You're talking about this out here? That's because we I haven't actually um, painted anything more onto it yet. But what I will be doing, uh, the landscape is, has, uh, is set up with a, a layer of, I think it's, it's either five or seven materials. So basically what we'll do is we will paint in other materials and, and blend them together um, but I won't do that until I've sort of started finished setting up the the tree line here but yeah so basically all what you see here at the moment is just all the same material um, but we do I do have um, a material set up with I think it's either five or seven other materials that we can mix between which is what we'll do once I decide how I want the path to sort of follow from here to the gate But, so you'll see me, you'll see when I paint it in, uh, Hellforge, maybe tomorrow. Uh, 
uh, Yuri says clutter objects, patches of grass, stones. Yeah, and that's the other thing too. Basically, once you um, once you start putting in things like grass here, you cover up a lot of it anyway. So yeah, we've got grass, we've got leaves. There's different types and lengths of grass we can add in. So yeah, you basically cover it up like that. But yeah, it is a multi-material for the um, multi-layered material for the landscape anyway. I just haven't painted it in yet. Because we were never working out here, we are only ever working inside the gate on the other side. Up until now. Euro says cover it enough to make it look random, yeah. Helpwood says alright. Helpwood says I've been eyeing some more environment art related stuff lately. Even though weapons and such are fun, there's so much more than just cars and guns, and cars made out of guns. It's true. Helpwood says, so it's useful to know how to handle some of these basic speed bumps. Oh, Euro says, guns made out of cars, transformers. Helpwood says, accurate. Sniper Girl says, post a note on one of the comments in Discord uh, on the only one you really need to show out of the images I posted. Okay, how are we going for time? Oh, we'll show those soon. We posted a note. Where did you post it? Where did you post the note? I don't get it. What did, which? What, what do you want me to show, Sniper Girl? Because I'm going to be showing them soon. Which one was it? Do you want me to show? Android Zoss says to help Forge TV. You uh, to help Forge UE4, and I'm sure other game engines have textures blend have texture blending nodes that you can hide. Use to hide tiling as well. Yeah, and that, that is another option, which I we're not using in this game because we, we're using. A multi-layered material to do blending anyway but yeah there is a node that you can use to to sort of like remove the the tiling you see like even here it's not too bad uh, but you can see it here the tiling here and here there's like those two lines um yeah but you are right there is a node you can use as well And the Snappy Girl says, yeah, it comes in handy. Uh, it's paintable as well as Android Lust says. Helford says, yeah, I need to look into that. I know Sniper Echo mentioned it at some point as well. Yeah, uh, Sniper Echo actually, I'm pretty sure is using it too, as you said. Sniper Girl says, it's so, so, it has so many ways to hide tiling in Unreal. That's true. Uh, kind of went the extreme method of doing it. Helford says, better go full tilt and dial it back to see how far you can push it and find good fringe use cases. Android Lust says, uh, I'm sure the material managers in Blender, Maya, Max, etc. have that note as well. I know 100% Maya has it. Android Lust says, uh, are you using Maya? Android Lust says, yes. Helford says, uh, I started trying to learn it a few weeks ago and, and I'm lost and confused about everything. I thought you were using Blender, Hellforge. Blender is pretty, is good. Yeah, you, it doesn't hurt to try other 3D programs for sure, but but Blender is good. Uh, I use Max, as you guys know, and yeah, I'm pretty sure Sniper Girl she uses Maya too. Sniper Girl says usual for me. Helpboard says I finally got around to do some UV unwrapping today, and the weird way the selection stuff works throws me off, real bad. <laughs> Andrew that says, what do you mean weird way for selection? Sniper Girl says, literally says, Phil does 3D, only one you need to show. And that part's in bold. Okay, in the gallery, yeah? Alright, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Let me have a look. Oh, okay, I see. Alright. Alright. I see which one you want me to show. It's all good. Uh, Android Lust says, the best uh, tip I can give with Maya is to use the shift plus right click, control plus right click. Control plus shift plus right click menus. I would just uh, spend a little bit of time to see what those menus offer and how you can use it to help you. 
Um, Hellboard says, not sure how to explain it. In Blender, I, I can face select and switch over to edge select and maintain everything I have selected and quickly deselect the stuff I don't want. In Maya, it seems like the moment I switch from face to edge select with stuff selected, it deselects everything and I have to start over. Um, again, I'm not a Maya person. I don't have that problem in Max. Uh, how, uh, Helpwood says, I started learning Maya for work thing. Sadly, I don't get the contract. Sadly, I didn't get the contract because I couldn't learn it fast enough. Fair enough. Now, I've said before and I'll say it again. All 3D software these days is very good. Whether it's Max or Maya or Cinema 4D or Blender. They all get the job done. They're all very good. Now, people have preferences. I mean, I use Max because I learned 3D Studio Max when I was a student at uni. That's what they sort of taught us. And ever since, I've just used Max. Uh, and I do like Max. Um, but Blender is completely free, and it's just as good as any other th 3D piece of software. I just don't want you guys to think you have to spend money on software like Maya or Max or Cinema 4D to do 3D, because you don't. Blender is very, very good, and it's free. Um, having said that, though, there are like, as Hellforge just said, he wanted to do a contract and they were using Maya. That, that, that happens. Like, like, some studios will have a preference for Maya or for Max or even for Cinema 4D. And they'll want you to use that if you're if you're working for them or if you're doing a contract for them. Uh, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind. I always say though, make sure that you know one piece of 3D software really well, whether it's Blender or Max or Maya or or Cinema or whatever. Get to know it and learn it really well, and then start trying to learn other pieces of 3D software because once you get a a firm understanding of one type, one 3D program, then that helps speed up your workflow learning a different 3D program because they all work, they all work the same way. You, you know, you're working with polygons, you're working with vertices, um, edge loops, all that sort of stuff is the same no matter what the 3D program is. So once you get a good understanding of one piece of 3D software, say if you want to go to the free version, go Blender. Once you know that, and you're comfortable working in that, then you can start learning the other other pieces of 3D software like Max or Maya or whatever. Uh, because yeah, you, once you've got that grounding in one type of 3D software, then it helps speed up learning other 3D software. Now, um, I think what we're going to do here is I'm just going to get into a position where I can do a quick save, and I'm going to have a quick copy. And we're going to look at um, the images that have been posted on the Phil Does 3D Discord in the gallery. So let's do that. And we're going to start with Sniper Girl, I believe. Yeah, we'll start with Sniper Girls. Um, gangway? What is this? The added, uh, she says, I added the dirt. A different method, uh, have R plus B channel ma mask made. Red is dirt, B is puddle, water area, and just overlay the dirt on top of all the layers. Ultimately looks better with then the ambient occlusion auto grunge. Uh, now that I figured out, we'll be able to start texturing everything and brightening stuff and bringing, oh, Bill can't read, and bringing stuff into the engine about darn time. So let's have a look at this one. And again, if you want to know who I am, go to phildoes3d.com if you're new to my channel. Um, okay, so yeah, that, that's looking really cool. I can see, yeah, that's very nice. So this is the gangway of the garage section. Texturing looks lovely. And this is actually in the Unreal Engine by the look of it. So you have wet planks, which look really cool. 
I recently did something similar to this uh, plank thing. I, I, I was working on a bridge, a covered bridge for the game. Uh, and there's a similar sort of thing going on in the bridge. It, does, it looks really cool, really nice. And again, I like the texturing as well. Nice. I actually quite like this other image. I, I know you don't. You said oh, you only have to show this one, but I want to look at this one. Um. Uh, copy link. Yeah, I, I, I like this uh, sniper girl as well. I like this image. I think it looks really cool. Again, this is, I believe the texture she's using on the planks, perhaps, or perhaps not. But I like this. I don't know why. I really, I really like this. It looks really cool. Nice texturing and uh, modeling work. And yeah, I really like that. Uh, I want to also show. Um, she's also posted the. It looks like the. Um, material shader so I won't show you guys that jump on the discord if you want to see that wax kink is working on a model as well uh, he's working on a golem and this is a work in progress from wax kink and it's coming along nicely as well it's very cool I can't wait to see it um, textured up and look really cool so that's wax kink there. So you don't want me to show your um, cargo container sniper girl? We'll show it anyway. <laughs> um, and this is a cargo container that sniper girl is working on. And again, nice, nice texturing and detailing work going on. Distressing, rusting. Uh, she's also shown an image of the way it's uh, set up with the rust, the color in one, the green color one, the blue color two, and A is used. So if you're interested in looking at that, check out the Discord server. Nice, but all, all of the work has been lovely. Uh, thanks guys for letting me show it. Again, Wax Kinks Golem and Sniper Girl's material and the gang, gangway here that she's working on for her scene. Um, it's going to start looking really cool, Sniper Girl. Once it's finished, once you finish texturing everything up, it's going to look amazing. Um, yeah, again, thanks guys for letting me show your work on stream. Um, we will pick up where we left off here tomorrow. Thank you guys for, for putting up with uh, all of the problems I've had here with my Twitch chat. Um, what I'm going to do after the stream finishes today, I'm going to install the newest NVIDIA Studio driver, cross my fingers it doesn't break anything else on the computer, um, and see if that fixes the chat client so that tomorrow I don't have to try and put up with this teeny tiny chat window down here to try and re read my chat. Because it's, it's, it's a challenge, let me tell you. Yeah, and thanks guys for welcoming me back from my break. Thank you, Help Orge. It's great to be back. It's great to be chatting with all you guys and girls again. I will be back again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the United States. We'll pick up on our landscape here and we'll keep doing a bit more work. Um, you guys have a great day and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow. See you guys.